Let's go climb the highest mountain in North Africa. So for Wendy. Bonjour. We're about to head up this pathway. That's where we're headed. It's a bit tricky. Crampon snapped in half. Tub car. And realized that she was a ladyboy. Broke his leg, cracked his cheekbone, broken his jaw. Below oxygen in the air. Real sketchy. Oh my god. <laughs> Made it luck. Woo! Oh what the hell? Shit. Here I Good morning guys, welcome to a fresh day, some fresh sunscreen on my face. Today we're heading to the mountains, Imlil, a village up in the mountains. Made two friends here, a guy from England, Joe, and he hitchhiked here from London. And a girl, Summer, from China. So we're all going to head up to the mountains together. Summer's not going to climb the mountain. Joe and I are going to try and summit it, not tomorrow but the next day. Really exciting, these mountains are beautiful. <laughs> Guys, so what's the plan? We're going to the mountains now. It's a beautiful day! Is that right, Joe? Yeah, yeah, always a beautiful day. Alright guys, my friends are withdrawing some money. Thought I'd take this chance to show you how beautiful the square is here. Check it out. All aboard! We cut the legs off of our pants Threw our shoes into the ocean Sit back and wave through the daylight Sit back and wave through the daylight Sit and slide on subway grain The shoes are poor men's ice cream Fall through like change in the daylight Fall through like change in the daylight I miss your both lines in my road Send something on my metro Maybe I'll paint them in my soul Alright guys, we arrived in Imlil after a very hot and sweaty ride in the taxi. Now we're just walking up to the uh, hostel that I've booked. So far, pretty beautiful. See the buildings over there in the distance. Not sure where Tobkol, the mountain that I came here to climb, it might be up there. Sure, all will be revealed very soon. Super nice to be up here in the mountains. Good to have some buddies up here too. On the roof of my hostel. Really amazing hostel. Beautiful. Check out this view. It's amazing. Inspired right now. Wow, that's a big peak. I'm not sure if that's Tobkal. I think for the rest of today we're just going to chill out, see what we can find. I'm going to combine today and tomorrow together. I will see you in the morning. So fine waiting. Today is the day we start the ascent to Tobkal, the second highest mountain in Africa and the highest mountain in North Africa. 4,179 meters. 69? Anyway, it's high. So now I'm just going down to meet my friend Joe. And then we're gonna start the walk. Got my crampons, because apparently part of the walk's a bit tricky. Start the walk soon and check in with you then. Beautiful day, perfect day. That's the direction we're heading up these beautiful valleys towards the mountains in the back there. This is picturesque. Alright guys, so far the trip's off to a weird start. My friend Joe, he went down to meet the guy that was going to sort him out with crampons and equipment. I looked for him for ages, couldn't find him. And the guide said he started walking. It's a bit weird, I don't think he'd do that. Looked around the area, you know, so I started walking. I've asked everybody coming down if they've seen him and they haven't. I'm pretty sure he's back down the hill, but I'm not going to like walk up and down the first part. Anyway, I'm in the beautiful mountains. Let's make the most of it and I will meet my friend soon, I'm sure. The way that they utilize the water in these mountains in Morocco is amazing. Stem it off the river and they've got these 
channels that just run through all the villages and it just powers the villages. Extremely smart, I love it. And if you watch the past vlog where we went up into the valley near Marrakesh, you'll see that these water channels actually power machines, for example, that make flour and things. It's just amazing. It's free. You just have to set up all the channels and stuff and then you're good for decades of water supply. Alright guys, that was definitely a shortcut. This is the path. And I came up here. Still no sign of Joe, but sign of some beautiful villages in the mountains. We're staying at the same place tonight, so we'll definitely meet somewhere. Alright guys, so I just stopped at this little shop here to get some water. The place is stunning as you can see from those last shots and then this backdrop that I have behind me. You know when you see something on the internet and you get there and it's just as good? That's what's happening now. Heading up the valley here to Tukkal. <laughs> key way to preventing altitude sickness is to drink a hell of a lot of water. Ten times the amount of water that you'd normally drink. Slam it. You don't want to be getting altitude sickness. It's not fun at all. Alright guys, been walking for like an hour now. Still no sign of Joe yet. Oh, what the hell? Joe! Shit. Right, man. Oh, dude, yo. Yeah. Oh, okay. what? You're okay? Yeah, man. What are you up to, man? Yeah, I thought you were man. dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> no back. <laughs> so Joe's actually all good. Just thought we'd play out a little scene. Disclaimer, we do take man and safety extremely seriously. We met up just down the hill like 20 minutes ago. Which one's Tubka? It's like the plateau. Right. And it's like the middle one, is it? So that's where we're headed. Yeah, boy. <laughs> What are your thoughts about this, Joe? Woo! And what do you call that? Being weird. And what country is that being weird come from? Mongolian throat singing man. Right. <laughs> Got some time lapses set up here. What have we got here, Joe? It's a vegetarian. Right. Just stopped in here to grab a bite to eat. Oh. Oh. Wow, this guy's got bread. <laughs> Lovely lunch there. Cost us five dollars. Bread, tagine, which is the potatoes, a few vegetables, and mint tea. Pretty good price up the hill. We just split it in half, so two dollars fifty. Now we're just continuing up. This place is seriously sick. Check this scene out. That's where we just ate lunch. And all the way up here. Heading up there, Tubkal is behind there. So we've taken a pit stop to get some delicious freshly squeezed orange juice from this lovely gentleman here. Oranges. Juicy.
So we think the refuge where we're staying tonight is just 100 meters or so. Yeah, man, you should tell the viewers something about yourself. Tell us your story. How are you here right now? Oh, man, so my name's Joe. I come off the back of a ship in France just after I had an operation to turn into a girl. And then I met my mother for the first time in Indonesia and realized that she was a ladyboy. So I'm here now just to climb a mountain to bring clarity, really. So, yeah. Right. Free the mind, right? Free the mind, man. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing will mess you up. Bonjour. Made it. Alright guys, so today was a pretty cool day climbing up to the refuge here in the background. 13 euros per night. Tomorrow we're gonna head up there early, like 6 or 7 in the morning, head for the summit. Really windy today. Hopefully it's gonna calm down. You can see the clouds are moving super quickly. Pretty magnificent place. We can definitely feel the altitude a bit. I'm not sure what we're sitting at right now. Maybe 3,000 something probably right now. The highest mountain in New Zealand is like 3,400 something. So, you know, that gives you a bit of perspective how high we are. We're pretty high. Super cool to have a climbing buddy. I was planning on doing it solo but always good to have a mate and uh, he's a funny guy. He's got a great perspective on life as well. I will see you in the morning. We will head up Tobka, the second highest mountain in Africa after Kilimanjaro and the highest mountain in North Africa. Should be sick. Alright guys, see you in the morning. What's the time? Good morning guys, it's about 7 a.m. We're about to head up this pathway here, try to go for the summit, but it's showing signs of rain down the valley, so a bit worrying, but we're on the way. Make the most of the good weather we have, and gotta get up to the snow pass here and chuck crampons on. Make our way up through the saddle and up to the summit, which is behind there somewhere. Joe's off to a flying start. Let's go climb the highest mountain in North Africa. Guys, we totally made the summit, but my battery died. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's a torrential lightning and thunderstorm and 20 minutes into the walk. Started coming down super hard. So we decided to turn around, stay here another night. What are we going to do? Twiddle our thumbs. Eh? Twiddle our thumbs. Maybe. Hopefully later on. There'll become a break in the weather and we can go up there. Yeah, maybe later, but likelihood is tomorrow. We'll see what happens. How do you feel about this, Joe? There's no time, man. It will come. I'm, I'm touching that summit for sure, eh? And then come all this way not to. And where did you come from? Because the people at home still don't know, mate. I hitchhiked from England to Africa to uh, climb the tallest mountain in North Africa. And how long did that take? Just over a month and a half. Wow. Yeah. And any life lessons you've taken away from this experience? Yeah, don't buy high grade saffron from a Moroccan man. <laughs> <laughs> Joe got ripped off by one of the best scam artists in the game. Long story short, hit him up on Instagram if you want to know the full story. Yeah. I'll leave his link below. Days were spent eating drastically overpriced Pringles. Looking out the window. Waiting. Wondering. Will we ever summit? Waiting. Wondering. <laughs> All 
Alright guys, so as you can see we went exploring up the hill just to see where the trail continues so we know for sure tomorrow. The weather's looking a bit better now as you can see but it's still drizzling right now and super windy. You can see by those time lapses how fast the clouds are moving and it's actually like a time lapse in real life. You can look at the clouds and it looks like you're watching a time lapse, it's pretty cool. Tomorrow we're going to get up super early, I think we're going to head off at like 4 then continue on up the mountain. Hopefully, fingers crossed, actually make it to the summit tomorrow but it's not in our hands. If nature doesn't want us to go then we can't go, it's as simple as that. Can't get upset about it. At the end of the day, nature's the boss to do what we're told. But we'll see you in the morning. Hope you enjoyed those funny little edits. Uh, extreme history. <laughs> summer check-in will be part of the way up the mountain. <sighs> Alright guys, we are about like a third of the way up the mountain, maybe. About quarter to seven now. And Joe's crampon actually snapped in half, which is real sketchy. His headlight came flying off. So we started heading down and we kind of given up. But we met a guide and he said he'll be okay. I, I, with no crampons after a while, so super windy. This is intense. Altitude is real right now. This is serious. Alright guys, I'm gonna put the camera away now, get up this ridge and I'll check back in with you soon. It's intense. It's like every step is like Broken cramp on there, man. Ah. We summited as you saw there, but it was so windy I couldn't really vlog much. Now we are making our way back down. That was extreme. That was really hard for me, anyway. The low oxygen in the air. So much effort, but we made it. It was really cold up there too, but beautiful view as you can see. Sorry I didn't get too many clips, but we had to just get in and get out. Now we're gonna continue, carry on the descent. Alright guys, 
guys we made it and we went back to the refuge and almost died of exhaustion now we're just walking back down amazing trip a lot harder than i expected i think joe would agree with that yeah it's a humbling experience from what we saw we were actually the only ones without a guide if i was to recommend someone to do it i'd probably recommend a guide especially if you want to set off early the pathway is not really that well marked and so quite easy to get lost we went off track a couple of times poor joe's crampon snapped in half like i told you earlier we thought that was going to be the end of the day but this guy here was never going to give up the summit for a little crampon but actually there was another guy who was sliding down without crampons a hungarian guy I'm not 100 percent sure what happened to him but the rumors are that he broke his leg and i think he might have cracked his cheekbone or broken his jaw i don't know but he looked in a lot of pain it's no joke eh? it's pretty serious super extreme really beautiful but super windy up top so we couldn't really stay there and soak it in all that much because we would have got blown off the cliff and it was super cold also any last words for the vlog then it will be parting ways this evening joe's flying back to london oh, where are you flying to yeah london though yeah london that's where all english people go anything you want to say to the viewers at home put me on the spot that's not live any last words joe when some days flow like the rivers and are as beautifully as the ocean in any last words for the vlog take three when some days flow like the rivers and are as beautiful as the then fucking oh my god <laughs> take four when days flow like the rivers and are as beautiful as the ocean itself you should take note of these memories because they last with you forever thanks for that joe appreciate it the wise words from a wise man follow my instagram too <laughs> <laughs> I, I am joe crystal uh. Dark is the midnight hour, how bright is the morning sun? Brown skin, they bunch of blue eyes, tell me your mama can't run. Sneak, sneak me through the back window. I made a flower for you out of cotton just to chill with you. You know I. Good morning guys, it's the following day after summiting Tubkal. What an experience, very challenging for me personally in the high altitude. I mean it's not extremely high but it was a lot harder than I expected. A very long episode I know but I prefer to just have it all in one package instead of doing parts. The adventure's the whole thing and you get a feeling of the whole thing if you put it together and what it took to make it to the summit. Great to meet Joe, he left last night, he's going back to London. Like I say if you're going to go for Tubkal, I recommend get a guide unless you're quite experienced. I'm reasonably experienced. Not extremely experienced but I've spent a lot of time in the mountains it was very hard especially in the early hours of the morning when it was dark getting lost and I'm sure if you use a GPS but I'd recommend getting a guide I'm not gonna talk anymore because this video has gone on long enough but I really hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna end it with a sweet compilation of the whole trip I'll see you in the next video enjoy this compilation thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video it really means a lot to me Summited. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a good one. Though. Take four. When days flow like the rivers and are as beautiful as the ocean itself, you should take note of these memories because they last with you forever.